So we've already analyzed the Matrix Resurrections Red Pill teaser. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the Blue Pill version. And in our opinion, the Blue version has the most amazing clips out of the two versions. Do you want to know what we saw? Then welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The Red Pill teaser had many clips of some of the new characters in the Matrix. These clips are our first looks at Jessica Henwick, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and Jonathan Gruff. There was also a woman who looked like Trinity and Neo fighting in the Matrix. The focus of that version was the Red Pills. We recommend that you watch that video first if you want to know everything we discovered. Link in the description below. Now, by choosing the blue pill in whatisthematrix.com, the video starts the same way as the red version, but with another narrator. The voice could be Neil Patrick Harris. Do you remember how you got here? This question has a double meaning because it asks the old fans if they remember how they got to this moment. But he is also speaking to us as if he was our therapist. The first clip we got was Neo doing a shockwave around him while police or SWAT surrounded him. The scene that came out for us, you may be asking? Well, yes, you heard that right. Every time you start the teaser, the clips from the movie are different. If you want more details about what I'm talking about, watch our video about the Red Pill teaser. Now, the surprising thing about this clip is that not only do we see Neo with powers again, but he is showing a new power. You've lost your capacity to discern reality from fiction. This may be a reference to Neo no longer knowing what is real while also saying that we are losing our minds. We move on to a scene where someone who looks like Abdul-Mateen wearing a jacket is seen entering through a door, but it looks like that gravity isn't working normally. Perhaps this is an area in the Matrix that is failing, or it is a scene that takes place inside the construct. What's real is here. The narrator of the Red Pill version tries to make us believe that this world, our reality, is false. This is the moment for you to show us what is real. And on the contrary, the narrator of the blue version tries to tell us that we have a type of mental disorder that causes us to think about things that are not true, that what we see is real. Without a doubt, he is playing with us, the audience preventing us from going through an existential crisis from discovering the truth. You've lost your capacity to discern reality from fiction. What's real is here. This could also be a double reference. Perhaps the one who is speaking is the therapist talking to Neo, who is questioning reality and is also speaking to us so that we do not question anything, keeping us as blue pills. The next clip is of Neo looking up at the sunny sky the sun symbolizes knowledge or enlightenment. This is a reference to the allegory of Plato's cave, where a person lived in the shadows all his life and thought that the light that reached the cave was from the sun, but it was the light of a campfire. It wasn't until he came out of the cave that he truly saw the light. Neil looks up at the sun and covers his eyes because he is starting to wake up just like Plato's caveman did. Neo is then seen on the roof of a tall building it looks like he's about to jump off the roof. Other people are there trying to stop him. Jumping off a building symbolizes the liberation of all doubt and the understanding that there is no spoon. It becomes a problem when fantasies endanger us. The narrator is referring to what we just saw. Neo is about to jump off a building. He is possibly diagnosed as someone with mental issues in the simulation and his therapist is trying to reason with him. In the same way, the narrator is talking to us and that we should not question reality or something bad might happen to us. Next, we see Jonathan Gruff near a window smiling at someone. This place looks like an office, maybe Metacortex, Thomas Anderson's former employer. Maybe Gruff is Anderson's boss in this simulation? As the narrator talks about the dangers of fantasizing, we see the blue pills, which makes us think that the blue pills are what keeps people in the dark of what the Matrix is. But something is breaking reality. Someone enters from a liquefied mirror pointing a gun. Then the teaser reveals the return of one of our favorite characters from the Matrix, the Deja Vu Cat. 
We have explained several times that this cat appears when something is changed in the matrix on the fly. Will the architect be changing the simulation again? The cat is in the rain. Rain symbolizes the matrix code. This is a reference to the final battle between Neo and Smith in Revolutions. Conditions in the Matrix were the same. Will the Matrix be attacked and changed again by someone as powerful as Smith? The next scene is of Neo on a rooftop walking towards a door of white light. This door of white light is equal to the door to the architect's room. Or it could be the door towards the source. This is why we think that Neo is going to meet with the architect again. It is not seen who opened the door. And now we move on to one of the biggest revelations. There is a prescription of blue pills under the patient name of one Anderson Thomas. The medicine is called Ontolofluxin. The name of the medication is composed of the words Ontolo as an ontology, which is the branch of philosophy that studies concepts such as existence, being, becoming, and reality and fluxin, which is a medication used to eliminate bacteria and viruses from the body. This means that the blue pill is designed to eliminate Neo's desire to explore reality. Those thoughts could be diagnosed as an illness, a very clever name, and this explains how Neo is still under the machine's control. The teaser ended with Neo taking the blue pills, but in a split second, when the camera pans up to see Neo taking the pills, his reflection on the mirror was shocking. Neo's reflection is of an old man. What is this strange occurrence due to? Well, there are several possible explanations, but we're going to limit ourselves to the most literal. Possibly Neo is connected to the main matrix, but the reason the other red pills haven't found him yet is that his residual self-image or his avatar is of an old man. Although we and Neo see him as he should, the people in the matrix see him as a geriatric crazy person. Now let us quickly mention the very eclipse. Again, check out our Red Pill teaser video to understand this. Neo is in a restaurant surrounded by police. The police are shooting at him and Neo is stopping the bullets. In the background, we see the sign of the coffee shop called Simulate with two T's, the same one we saw in the red teaser trailer, which could mean that this scene occurs inside the coffee shop. Neo is stopping the bullets as he did in the first and second movies. We see a person jumping out of a building through a window. This resembles the scene when Trinity jump out of the window trying to escape from the agent in Matrix Reloaded. There is another scene of Neo staring at the sun, possibly questioning his reality. We see a helicopter firing at a building and shell casings falling like rain, looking like the scene when Neo fired at the agents from a helicopter to save Morpheus. Now there are two helicopters surrounding two people who appear to be Trinity and Neo on the roof of a building. Another reference to the first movie when they were on the rooftop and hijacked a helicopter. In another scene, Neo is stopping bullets near an elevator and Trinity is with him. We see a part of the clip that was described by the press at CinemaCon of Neo and Abdul Mateen fighting in a dojo. This dojo could be inside the Matrix or the Construct. This is one of the reasons why we think Abdul Mateen's character might be connected to Morpheus. Jessica Henwick does an anti-gravity cartwheel while dodging bullets. In the background, we see what appears to be an agent, and in the foreground, we see Abdul Mateen who has been described as a young Morpheus. He is wearing circular sunglasses like the Nebuchadnezzar's captain, but his clothing is more similar to that of an agent. Neo is touching the back of his head where the head jack is, but there is something different. In addition to the jack behind his head, he now has an additional hole behind his neck. This new connector may have been added after Neo was reconnected to the simulation. We end with another clip of someone getting rid of the blue pills, possibly Neo, and a clip of Neo and Trinity. This time it is her. Neo tries to hold her hand, but Trinity rejects him. This could be Trinity's home, because we see a motorcycle similar to the one that we saw in the leaked video footage of Matrix 4. Now then, the Blue Pill teaser focuses on the life of Thomas Anderson. He takes blue pills to suppress his supposed delusions that could lead him to harm himself. Walking towards the edge of a rooftop of a tall building shows that perhaps those who question reality may not be entirely sane, but it also shows a Neo with his powers back and with Trinity. As we mentioned in the previous video, each time we click on the red or blue pill in the whatisthematrix.com, we see different clips. So possibly, we will see more teasers or alternate versions of the trailer soon. 
the official Matrix Resurrections trailer will finally be released this coming Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific Time, and we will be there to explain every bit of it. But do you agree? What did you think about the Blue Pill teaser trailer? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.